Hey ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my little channel. Today I have for you a liquid lipstick swatch, no, a liquid lipstick collection video. I've seen a few of these on YouTube recently and I thought it would be super fun to film. So I have them all laid out in front of me and I've got them in collections of the different brands. So I'll start off with the cheapest ones and go up to the more expensive ones. So the first one I've got is like a random one I bought from eBay and it looks like this. Um, I believe it was 99p. If I can find it, I will link it below for you. And it is just a plain black uh, liquid lipstick. It is in the shade 05. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll try and link it below, but I'm pretty sure I just typed in like liquid lipsticks on eBay and it came up. So it is that shade there. Um, it's actually really, really pigmented for being 99p. Um, I also bought a blue shade, but I put that in the bin because um, I never wore it and I have different blue shades, but it's always good to have a backup black. Um, it does last pretty well. Um, obviously, it's not as good quality as an expensive brand, but for 99p, it's a little bit drying, but it lasts well. So if you're really, really stuck, for a liquid lipstick, I suggest picking up one of these. The next one up from that is from Primark and it's one of their newer ones. It's the Insta Girl Intense Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Insta Glam. And this was two pounds and it's like this really cool gray, it looks metallic-y there, um, gray purple shade. Uh, this is satin finish, so it's not completely matte but it is really pretty. Um, so it's that shade there, obviously, the next one above it. Um, for two pounds, I'd say it's a really good lipstick. And the thing I really like about it is that it doesn't feel matte, it doesn't feel drying. It feels really moisturizing. It feels like you've got lip gloss or something on. It's not really crispy and horrible like some cheap liquid lipsticks. It's like a really nice consistency. So if you want a cool color, with the lasting effect but not super drying then maybe check out their new range I think they've only got like three shades in this range but um, this is like a really cool colour so if that's for you then check that out the next ones I've got are from Makeup Academy the MUA Luxe but um, I don't know if they're like old packaging yeah these are old packaging for their um, MUA Luxe Velvet Lip Lacquers. So that's the new packaging and this is the old packaging. So I'll go through these quickly. I've got three shades here. The first shade is Kooky, which is purple. Oh, these are three pound each. Uh, this shade here, this nude, is Tranquility. Pop that up a bit. It's quite a peachy nude, so that's quite nice. It's more warm toned. And the red one here is Reckless. I don't know if they've changed the formula or if they just changed the packaging. Um, I wouldn't really know to be honest, I'm not an expert in those types of things, but they're very good. Um, so we have Kooky, Tranquility and Reckless. And for £3, like I said, they're pretty good. They're relatively pigmented, a little bit drying on the lips, but they are you know, for three pound, you can't really go wrong. Their color range is incredible. I'll go through the rest of them now. Um, so I have all of these. Um, so like I said, this is a new packaging and their color range seemed to have improved when they improved the packaging. So I'll start off with the more basic colors. So again, oh, this one is called Harmony and this is a nude. Um, I don't know if it's, it's really, really, really similar to tranquility but just a little bit more with a little bit more brown in it I think it's more earthy the next shade I have is dash and this is a really pretty everyday color if you don't want a nude but you want you know something not too bright but <laughs> a bit more color than a nude um, so it's a nice mauvey pinky color I'm not very good at describing colors would you believe I'm a fashion student <laughs> the next shade I have is reckless so this is the newer packaging of Reckless. Looks exactly the same to me, so I don't think they have changed the formula. Then we go on to the more interesting colours. So I've shown this in a previous video. This is Iced. I used it as eyeliner in my Pastel Goth makeup tutorial. And it is a 
pastel-y blue shade but with a little bit of purple in it I would say. I then have a darker blue shade and this is the shade Splash. Um, it's really cool to find a drugstore brand that stocks such interesting colours because of lot, a lot of the brands you see only stock very basic colours, um, just nudes and reds but this is really cool to see, this is why I have a lot of these shades because they are more interesting. I also have Unity which is a pastel purple, I believe this is what I used in my pastel goth video. And then I also have, oh no this is the one I used, I used Symphonic, sorry, um, Symphonic, which is a bit darker than Unity but still not really dark, it's a lot more purpley. And then the last one I have is in the shade Potent and it is a black liquid lipstick which to find in the drugstore was very very cool. They didn't have it in the actual branch near me in Southampton but I ordered it online so so from here, oh god, can I, I don't think my arm goes that way, so that was, oh god, okay, hold on, so it starts off with Harmony, Dash, Reckless, Iced, Splash, Unity, Symphonic, and Potent, so that is them all there, they're all £3 each, and like I said, the colour range is really cool, they're relatively well pigmented, can't really go wrong with those. So the next ones I have are also from the drugstore and these are from the brand Makeup Revolution. Um, I do love these liquid lipsticks but I'm no longer purchasing from the brand. Um, it's a really long story, I think I'm going to make a separate video on it but it is to do with um, the situation with Kat Von D. So these are the last ones I will own of those sadly. Um, right, so again, I'll start off with the most basic colours and go up to the more interesting ones. So I'll start with this nudie one, and this is nudie, not the really funny word. This is the shade of what I believe. Again, these are £3 each, I believe. Um, so they're the Salvation Velvet Blackers. Um, look like this. The next shade I've got is a red shade in Keep Trying For You. Uh, the formula is really, really similar to the Makeup Academy ones. Oh, that is drying out. <laughs> um, I've had this for so long. I use it all the time for every pin-up look. I always use that. Um, yeah, the formula is relatively similar to the MUA ones. They're a bit drying, but they are nicely pigmented. Um, and the next shade I've got here is Gave You All My Love, which is a bright pink. It's good to have variety. <laughs> um, I have Velvet Rebel, which is a purpley pink. It's more pink um, than it shows up on camera. I was hoping it was going to be like a nice dark vampy colour, but it's not quite dark enough for me. Um, I've then got Depravity, which is a bright lilac -y purple. I used to wear this all the time and then I saw a picture of a girl who was not very nice wearing it, so now I don't want to wear it anymore. <laughs> um, I then have Black Heart, which I thought this was black when I bought it and then I got it home and realised it wasn't, so I was a bit disappointed. But this is a repurchase because the colour's cool. Um, it's like a really, really dark purple. So at the bottom I have, oh, I've forgotten it already, what I believe. Yeah, what I believe, keep trying for you, gave you all my love. Rebel, depravity and black heart. So like I said, the colour range is really cool, consistency is quite nice, they're very well pigmented and they are a little drying. So yeah, they're pretty good for drugstore. The next ones I have are again drugstore but a little more well known or a little more easily accessible. I don't know how accessible those brands are in like the US and other places like that but for me they're really accessible. Um, so the next brand is NYX and I have three here. So the first one is from their lingerie line and this is the shade Corset. I love this so much. It's a really nice everyday nude that you can just throw on. It dries down well, it's not super drying. Um, 
love that shade there. I like it because it's like a corpsey nude. <laughs> that's how I'd describe it. I want something to make me look dead and that's what it does. So I really like that. The next one is from their Liquid Suede collection. And a little disclaimer, these are not 100% liquid lipstick, dry down, kiss proof, touch proof. They're almost there, but not quite. But this is the cheapest grey liquid lipstick type thing I could find, so that's why I bought it. I believe it was $6.50 and that's what it looks like. And I really love it. I'm not too fussed that it's not kiss proof, like I'll wear it to work or something. Um, if you dust translucent powder over the top of it, then you're pretty much set for the next few hours. So yeah, that's a really good cheap alternative to like a more expensive grey. The last one here is not exactly a liquid lipstick but it's the NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream and this is in the shade Out of This World. This is such a cool lipstick topper that I had to include it in this video. Um, so it's like a really shimmery, metallic-y green and to put that over the top of like a green liquid lipstick is so cool. I did it the other day to go out for... where did I go? Actually, I think I just wore it to work, why not? <laughs> um, and I loved it, so cool. They have like a, a cool... Um, range of shades in these so definitely check those out i believe that was 550 or 650 so that's all my drugstore ones so i'll go up to more expensive ones so the next one i have for you is la splash cosmetics and this is in the shade og ghoulish um, this is again a corpsey nude i really love this it's more mauvey than brownie um, I think this was like £13, um, it's that one there, that's such a cool liquid lipstick, I really love it, it's so cool to just throw on every day because it's more of a twist to a normal nude, so I like wearing that one to work. Uh, the next one I have for you is Huda Beauty, these are the liquid matte lipsticks, this is in the shade Medusa, and the consistency of this is so nice, the smell is amazing, they smell so... It just smells like it's good for you, like it smells moisturising and conditioning. And the formula, I love the formula, but my only complaint is that their shade range is so boring. This is the most out there colour, it's all just nudes and reds and some pinks. So for, for the general public, really really good, love it. For people who are more adventurous, their, the shade range isn't that good. But the one I do have is really really pretty, that's Medusa there. And I really love the formula and everything. I just hope that they come out with some more interesting colours. Um, the next one I have is from MAC. Um, this is the shade... Where is it? Bengal Tiger. Um, this is the older version of these liquid to matte lipsticks. Um, the one's so cute. It's like a little heart type thing. Um, so it's not, I do have to reapply throughout the day, but it does feel nice on my lips, it doesn't feel super drying. It's such a bright pop of colour, I love it. Um, so definitely recommend checking this shade out, it's really cool, especially when you're missing Halloween. You're missing the pumpkins, you throw this on, it's like you're back in October. <laughs> um, the last two brands I have are Jeffree Star and Kat Von D. I'll save the best till last, so Jeffree Star is next. <laughs> Um, so I've got three shades here, um, the first one I have is Scorpio, which I had to buy because I am a Scorpio, and like I said, I'm really into that um, nudie, mauvey, grey type thing, um, so that's Scorpio there. The consistency is really nice, I will say the smell of these lipsticks is really, really weird. I've heard someone say they smell like cat pee, I've heard a lot of weird things, I think they smell like tarmac, especially the black one. I don't know why I think they smell like tarmac. <laughs> I can't remember how much these are. I want to say £16, but maybe they're 13 I think 16 um, I get these from Beauty Bay. The next shade is Weirdo, which I'm sure everyone and their mum has seen this. This is like a goth staple. Uh, they are really creamy, but they do tend to dry while well, they dry down, obviously. Um, they last for a relatively long time, um, so that's Weirdo there and they are pretty nice. I do like these lipsticks. And this is my favourite from the whole collection, the whole range. This is Crocodile Tears, and I think it was a Christmas one. It must be because it's got the red top. Um, and this is my favourite. I wear it so much. And I'm going to be so sad when I run out because if they stop doing this because it's a Christmas range, I don't know 
what I will do because I love this crocodile tears at the top there so with that mixed with the NYX out of this world on top such a cool combination <laughs> like how it looks so slanted but like it's straight when I look at it that way and then when I <laughs> that's really that's like really entertaining um yeah so that's Jeffree Star and then my favourite at the end is Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks I only have two shades of these the first one I'm going to show you is Exorcism Exorcism or Exorcist? Exorcism so pigmented and so pretty it's this one right above my head I'm wearing it now um, love these I think these are about £16 they last well they feel so nice the packaging is so pretty love it this shade here is witches again goth staple everyone and their goth mum has seen this oh don't get it on my face <laughs> um this is witches here and these are probably my favorite liquid lipsticks that i own besides crocodile tears um, they're just such easy go-to shades formulas nice the color range is so nice i just want to buy every single one <laughs> um yeah so that is my liquid lipstick collection let me know down below if you have any of these what you think of these if you'd be interested in picking picking any of these up now i've mentioned them and also let me know what your favorite liquid lipsticks are be it brand or shade because i love liquid lipsticks they are my life it's all i wear so let me know down below and i'll check some out because i'm always looking for more I really hope you enjoyed this video, um, it was really fun to film, I want to do more swatchy videos because I just feel like I'm now a work of art. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you ghouls next time, bye!